everyone, welcome to this video series where we're going to be stepping through the what the hack Azure serverless hack. For each challenge in this hack, we're going to have a video and then we're going to have an introduction video, which is this one, and then a wrap up video at the end. So for what the hacks, usually there are groups of four to five people plus a coach. And what the hacks are meant to be sort of high level guidance challenges and not step by step labs or step by step tutorials. So there's a lot of you figuring things out that happens and is encouraged in these types of hacks. If you have any interest in hosting your own hack, I'll have information on that in the description and any sort of link or resource that I mentioned will also be in the description. So don't worry about having to make note of a specific URL that's in the video or anything like that. And that will have everything linked in the description for you. So in terms of what we're building with this specific app, oh, I think I don't think I introduced myself. My name is Gwen, Cloud Developer Advocate here at Microsoft. I focus on Azure Serverless and .NET, um, which makes sense that I'm hosting this uh, serverless hack here. And I mentioned I'm going to take on the role as a student, so walk through these challenges as if I were a student. So I'm not going to have additional coach resources like lectures or guides or anything like that. But I can provide context that I've gained through experience, and when I when it feels appropriate, I will add those in. Um, but yeah, in terms of learning objectives for this specific application, we're, we're building a toll booth application. Uh, well, let's use the, the architecture to explain what we're building here. So we have a bunch of vehicle photos and those photos are going to be sent to a, a storage account, a blob container sign storage account. That's going to go ahead and trigger event grid to send the photos to an Azure function to process the incoming photos to extract license plate data using computer vision API. If that extraction was successful, it's event grid is going to trigger an Azure function that will save the successfully processed license plate data to Cosmos DB. And if it wasn't successful, it's going to be marked for review by another function. And again, that information will be saved to Cosmos DB. Every 15 minutes, we're going to have a logic app uh, that will run and export a, run the export process and the notification workflow. Uh, so if there's an email notification, if there are no new, new license plates to be exported, it's empty. We're going to use um, an email notification for that. And we'll have a function that will export the license plate data to the CSV and update the export status here too. And that CSV will be uploaded to the blob storage container as well. And every all our secrets in our con our uh you know, secret configuration settings and strings and whatnot are going to be stored in Key Vault. And then we're going to be using application insights for monitoring and real-time monitoring as well. Uh, so again, a summary of the technologies we'll be using, Azure Functions, Azure Cognitive Services, Azure Event Grid, Application Insights, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Key Vault, and Logic Apps. And we have eight challenges plus two optional challenges. And there will be a video for all of these, including the optional challenges. There are some prereqs that you need to make sure you go through. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, so yes, we're gonna get hands-on. We're gonna figure out a lot together. And that is it for this introduction video. But I will see you in the next one. And remember that absolutely everything you need will be in the description. All right, see you in the next video.